Greetings, my fellow freaks and weirdos, geeks and nerds. I'm Tom, and welcome to Monster Gab, where we normally like to talk about classic and vintage horror. But in today's episode, we're going to be looking at my Star Wars toys. Now, they're not the original toys that were released in the 70s and early 80s, because obviously they'd be worth a lot of money, and I wasn't even born until 1983. Not to mention that I didn't really get into Star Wars until the early 90s. Now, I've already done a video based on my Star Wars VHS collection from the 90s, as well as my Star Wars Tazo collection, literally because I was just clearing out the attic and I happened to come across them and I thought they'd make an interesting topic. But while I was there, I also came across some other stuff, some of my childhood toys, as well as my games consoles, because I've kept all of my games consoles from when I was a kid, including the boxes, and I'm really, really glad that I did this. Now, growing up during the 80s and early 90s, I have to say that I was quite a wealthy child when it comes to toys, and I had quite a collection of them as well. You know, from Ghostbusters to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I think my brother had some Action Man. You know, we didn't do badly. Most of those toys are no longer a part of my possession, but one thing that I did keep hold of was my Star Wars toys from the mid-90s. Now, I haven't seen these toys for nearly 20 years, and this is going to get very nostalgic for me, if not emotional, but they are at a part of the attic that's not easy to get to. However, we're just going to make the effort. We're going to find them, and we're going to have a look at them today. Oh, wow, guys, I tell you what, that was not an easy task. Uh, I am not as nimble as I used to be, and that, that really was difficult. Anyway, look at this. You ready? Ta da da! Oh. Memories! Oh, this is brilliant. Okay, a couple of battered boxes there. I mean, I looked after stuff when I was younger, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know what's happened here. Anyway, let's get a closer look at these, shall we? Well, when I opened the boxes, they didn't have all the things that were meant to be in there. The first thing I noticed was this snow trooper with this cannon. Look at it on a tripod, it's amazing. Uh, that, or it's just a, a very powerful SLR camera with a massive zoom lens on it. Um, but cool, yeah, I mean, I don't know what the detail was like on the 70s models, but I actually quite like the 90s editions. I know people say that the uh, characters looked a bit hench, and I know Luke Skywalker had a, a six-pack as far as the toys were concerned, but I actually enjoyed these. I really did have a lot of fun with them. And the thing is, well, I played with these toys. They weren't just like a collector's thing. I was getting a little bit older. Uh, I suppose just a tad old for toys. I was losing that imagination, but when it comes to Star Wars, you just kind of, you just got to fight it, haven't you? And he came with, I don't know, this kind of box. I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway, that was in there. Oh, we got Jabba the Hutt here. Now it came with a Han Solo figure, but because I already had Han Solo, I gave him away, which was stupid, I suppose. But I don't know. I just felt like I didn't need two Han Solos, so uh, I gave him away. But as far as Jabba the Hutt's concerned, I kind of feel like they based him on the CGI Jabba. Do you know <laughs> when they reissued the uh, the original films in the 90s and? added you know the extra scenes and the cgi because it's not the best looking jabba is it <laughs> but nonetheless it was jabba the hut i'll tell you what this did come with though i'm sure it came with han and carbonite um he's not here though i've definitely got him somewhere though i'll have to find it ah oh, check this out this is the atst i didn't have the 8080 it was just a bit too much money and you know i i had enough <laughs> Or at least as far as my parents were concerned, anyway. Uh, so yeah, this is the ATST. Um, I'll show you the back of the box there. It didn't come with a stormtrooper, but I've just had a quick peek in here, and uh, I left him in there. I, I do own a stormtrooper, <laughs> just the one. <laughs> Let's have a look at this thing. If I remember correctly. <laughs> wow! Look at that. Isn't that cool? So yeah, got my uh, stormtrooper in there. I think we can, yeah, we can open this properly. We can take him out. So there he is. I'm going to focus. But yeah, I just oh, sorry guys. I, I'm not really saying much. I'm just I'm having a massive nostalgia trip. But it's so cool, and it's even got like a, a walk and stop button on the back here. So just kind of holds him in place. I think he will stand up well, on a on a solid surface at least anyway <laughs> all right I've got
got the box to my snow speeder here. It's a bit warped. Now, personally, I actually preferred the snow speeder to uh, X Wings. <laughs> I don't know why, I just think there was something about the Battle of Hoth. I really, really enjoyed it. Let's get this thing out of the box, shall we? We'll have a quick look at the back. You can see there, Luke sat in the cockpit. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> right, so we can see here that the some of the stickers have kind of decayed over time. Um, this this used to light up as well. I'm pretty sure it still would if uh, if I put batteries in it. But we've got the uh, the tow cable on the back there. <laughs> it's excellent. I absolutely love it. It's just brilliant. I don't know. I just. Yeah, I just absolutely love the snow speed. I think it's a brilliant vehicle. I really, really do. It's so cool. Not much to see underneath, but I'm pretty sure. The back left. Yeah, there we are. So you can kind of stand it up. <laughs> because it wouldn't without, right? All right, let's stop messing about now. We're playing with the big boys here. Look at this, this is the X-Wing. Uh, this is probably one of the first toys that I received um, as a Christmas gift or something. I'm, I'm sure I put it on my Christmas list that I really wanted the X-Wing. And uh, well, let's have a quick look at the back. Not much to show you there, I suppose, but um, yeah, let's get this out. <laughs> so I'm sure you press R2-D2 here to open the wings. There we go. So now it's in. Battle mode, bit of fluff there from the attic. Look at that, so cool, retractable leg. Um, yeah, and that's to pull it back in. I'm sure it used to make sounds as well. Uh, I mean, it would be battery operated. Obviously it's not gonna work now, there's no batteries in it, and if they are, they'd be decayed. Um, how cool is that? And I've even got Luke in the uh, cockpit there. Let's uh, open that, let's have a closer look at him, shall we? Can't get that to focus. Well, that's, <laughs> that's the best I can do. Um, how cool is that though? All right, it's not perfect. He is a bit buff, but uh, that to me is Luke Skywalker in his X-Wing attire. Totally cool. Oh, I just found this in the box as well. Look at that, how cool is that? I didn't have the land speeder, I never had that. Um, but that's, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Hey? You know, can you imagine being a kid in the 90s and seeing this kind of stuff? And here's all the toys. Uh, so I've got Darth Vader somewhere. <laughs> I never had C-3PO. Um, obviously you've seen the Stormtrooper. I had Chewbacca. He'll be around somewhere. I don't think I had Obi-Wan or Leia. I can't remember. I might have done. Um, obviously I had Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, and I had R2-D2 as well. When I say had, I mean I should say have. They should be here somewhere, but uh, still rummaging through the box. Tell you what I do have, I didn't realise I kept these. I have some of the uh, packaging from the figures. So that was uh, Luke, or Jedi Luke, from uh, Return of the Jedi. I'm not sure what that was. Well, I think that was the, uh, the Snow Trooper. Oh, Sand Trooper as well. Yeah, got a Sand Trooper somewhere. Uh, that's pretty cool. Some more figures there on the back. Awesome. And we've got uh, Luke in uh, Stormtrooper disguise, uh, where his helmet actually comes off. And what was great is I used to use him as a spare Stormtrooper, because <laughs> I think I only had the one. That's the Han Solo one, and like I said before, it actually came with the Han and Carbonite, so that's going to be around somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Or is it just... Surely, surely that wasn't just Han and Carbonite. I didn't just buy a slab. You know, I probably did. Darth Vader himself there. Fantastic. Um, no, there's the Han Solo one. So, oh my god, did I genuinely buy Han Solo in Carbonite? Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. Well, I hope I received it as a Christmas gift and I didn't actually spend my own money because that's just ridiculous. Luke in uh, X Wing attire. Um, I mean, this is all good and dandy, but um, it's the figures you want to see, right? Oh, I'll, I'll dig them out. They're going to be here somewhere. R2-D2. Let's quickly fly through these. So we've got the Stormtrooper. TIE Fighter Pilot. Yep, because uh, I had to have one of them in my TIE Fighter. And good old Chewie as well. Hey, there we go. 
here it is. Here's the one you've all been waiting for, the Millennium Falcon. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, look how... Th that's my hand. Look how big this box is. I can't fit it on the screen. I'm going to have to pull the camera back. It's just huge. Oh, no, I, I cannot wait to see this because I haven't seen it in, like I said, probably about 20 years. Uh, this this was the big one. This is the thing that I wanted more than anything else. And uh, yeah, oh, wow. Oh, let, let's let's open it. Let's have a look. Oh, man, the nostalgia. Oh, guys, how cool is this? And opening the box as well. I just found Lando Calrissian. Um, if he was in the cockpit, I'm guessing the last time I played this, I was playing Return of the Jedi. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, this is so cool. Um, so yeah, we got the cockpit there, which uh, I don't think it's meant to open like that. Uh, it's probably worn over time. I, I played with this so, so much. It's so awesome. We got, oh, there's something rattling in there. We've got a little handle there. It's also accessed one of the feet. There are buttons on the back here, which obviously if it had batteries in, it would be uh, making all kinds of noise, at the, or the light speed and that kind of stuff. We've got the satellite dish there, which picks up all of the sports channels. <laughs> Oh man, this is amazing. Right, we've got to open it, haven't we? We've got to open it. Let's have a look on the inside. Oh, and there's, there's Han and Carbonate. There he is. I wonder how much this thing cost, eh? Oh, that's that's a, a figure in itself. Amazing. Oh, hey, cool. Oh, well, there we are. Oh, it does come with a, a Han figure. Well, in this case, anyway. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know he was in there. That's so cool. Let's have a closer look then. Well, we've got the, the old chess table there, or the Star Wars equivalent anyway. There's also the cockpit for the, or the, the seat for the gun turret, so you can sit, sit a figure in there. And activates the, uh, the turret gun on the top there, oh, amazing. And then obviously there's the, <laughs> the doorway, amazing. And it's even got the little smuggle bay, I wonder if there's anything in here. Oh, there is! Oh, it's Han Solo himself. There we go. Oh, that's amazing. Try and get that to focus. Well, that's the best you're going to get. Oh, this is amazing, guys. <laughs> I'm pretty sure these, this comes that. Yeah. Pretty sure you can push these down and then they act as feet. And then it will... <laughs> it should stand up again. This is not a solid surface. Oh, I am having such a good time right now. <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to imagine how old I was when I got this. But isn't it just a thing to marvel at, hey? It's just, oh, it's brilliant. It really, really is. I was a very, very lucky child. <laughs> well, perhaps not in the best of conditions, but here is uh, an Imperial speeder bike, uh, which is absolutely cool. I remember getting this because... Uh, it's got quite a cool feature on it. So there he is. In all his glory. I love the uh, the biker scouts. Is that what they were called, doesn't it? Biker scouts. I, I actually thought they looked pretty cool. Um, but yeah, if you press the button, it should just explode. <laughs> well, an explosion of sorts. How cool, though. How cool. So there's the box for the TIE Fighter there. Pretty cool, yep, yep. Not cool that they're putting a Stormtrooper in there though. Anyway, um, here it is. I've had to assemble it. <laughs> it won't fit in the box like this. And then the wings fly off as well. <laughs> awesome. And on the inside, I do have a TIE Fighter pilot. Doesn't come with it. Now I had to, you have to get these separate because that's how they get you, isn't it? But, um, yeah, there he is. All right, what I do have here is some uh, kind of scenarios, if you like. So there's the detention block rescue uh, scene, where obviously Princess Leia was, was trapped in her prison cell and they escaped through the garbage chute. Um, I've just kind of tried to assemble it. I think there's a couple of pieces missing here, which is a bit unfortunate, but uh, there it is. So there's the prison door. So I'm guessing I must have had a Princess Leia figure, otherwise, uh, what's the point? Uh, these here, they, they fire, I think. Oops. <laughs> and that is gone forever, deep into the abyss. Uh, so yeah, there's the, obviously, <laughs> the escape chute. I think there's meant to be some guns on the side here as well, so it's not complete, but uh, it, it'll be somewhere. 
And here's the other kind of scenario uh, playset, if you like, uh, the Death Star Escape. Um, so yeah, uh, this one is pretty battered actually, and not complete. <laughs> so I mean, that's basically it. You've got your kind of uh, bridge there, which we take away. I don't know what happened here. There was something stuck on it, and I've just pulled it off now and absolutely ruined it. Uh, this is meant to stick on there somehow, but it won't. Obviously, the gun fires. <laughs> And then, yeah, you have got the doorway here. And yeah, the, the kind of, you know, the rope swing as well from, you know, the, the scene in, in A New Hope. Right, guys, I'm really, really sorry to report, but I literally can't find the figures anywhere. I do still have them. They are somewhere, but I, I just can't get my hands on them. So rather than a galaxy far, far away, uh, they are deep in the realms of a dark attic behind the old Christmas decoration somewhere. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I certainly did. Uh, like I said, this was more about me than you, but whatever. I thought I'd document it, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please do let me know in the comments section. Do you guys still have any of your old toys? Do let me know. What toys did you have? Did you have any of these figures? Let me know in the comments section. Thank you so much, guys. We will get back to the horror in the next video. Uh, take care. See you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, I didn't do my whole I don't know who they are bit, did I? Should we do it now? I don't know who they are, but if you don't subscribe, they will get you. So make sure you subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new video here on Monster Gab. Leave a comment and a like and share with your friends. Thanks guys, take care, see you soon, bye bye.